Good morning, everyone. This sample video lecture is about shear and moment in beams, uh, particularly on shear and moment diagrams. So, this presentation will show how to derive shear and moment equations based from the shear and moment diagrams that are constructed using the area method. So, Sana na presentation, una makuha ang, una i-draw ang diagrams, and then ayan makuha ang equations. Now, when we use method of sections, as usually explain or discuss sa uh, kanina topic, shear and moment equations are derived first. So that's the usual procedure. Una makuha ang equations, and then from these equations, shear and moment diagrams are then constructed. So, kining nga presentation karon, bali ni sa una ang diagrams ay ha ang equations. So, let us solve a simple problem. Construct the shear force and bending moment diagrams for the beam shown by using the area method. Neglect weight of the beam. So, expand na to gamay. Although ang ipangita adar eh, is just to construct the diagrams to dumagan, let's derive the equations. Okay. First, identify the reactions. So, at A, duha, kay hinge, ne? Na at C, isa lang kay roller. But since we don't have any horizontal load, therefore, ang horizontal component sa reaction sa A is zero. So, doon na lang bilhin. Vertical reactions sa A o reactions sa C. So, first, let us solve for RC. If we sum up moment at A, uh, it is suggested na if you will sum up moment, um, choose a point na pinaka-extreme. Uh, extreme left or extreme right. Para convenient ka pagkuha sa moment. Ka, you will not get confused sa direction. Okay, so sum up moment at A. Moment is force times distance. So kung nakay uniform load, uniform distributed load, convert sa una to a resultant force. And the resultant force is equal to the area of the diagram. So 120 times 2. Muna ay resultant, design. Distance da yun is distance are resultant force naman na yung resultant force midway between A and B kaya rectangle man uh, distance dahil na niya to point A dito ka makuha ang moment dito yung may base so, 1 foot and then concentrated load of 100 ang distance niya is 2 feet and then uniform load sa segment CD Muna yung resultant, 120 times 2. Ang location sa, or ang distance sa resultant force, kine, na adere, 2.A is 5 feet. And you'll get RC equal to 410 upward. And for RA, you just sum up force along the vertical. And you'll have 170. So before I draw a shear and moment diagrams, double check first or make sure na ang reaction si mo correct. Kaya once wrong na siya, ang moment diagram ni mo dili mag-close. And it will take time kung mabalik baka. Okay. So we are now ready to draw the shear diagram. So forces at ang gamitan dali. So at A, nakay force na 170 upward. So mag-draw sa line upward, 170. And then for segment AB, uniform distributed load. Uh, ang area niya is 240, 120 times 2. Tapos downward, so negative na. So 170 minus 240, nakay negative 70. That would be the shear at B, negative 70. Ang diagram niya, straight line. So, why straight line? Uh, Naman na sa relationship mo mong load shear moment na if ang load ni mo 
is uniform distributed load. Ang shear diagram is a straight line. And then at B, concentrated load of 100 downward, negative 70 minus 100, negative 170. And then BC, walay load. Again, nasa relationship na if walay load ang segment, ang iyong shear diagram is just a horizontal line. And then at C, na reaction upward, negative 170 plus 410, 240. And then between C and D, nakiload. Get the area, 120 times to 240 negative, get downward. So 240 minus 240, zero. Straight line again. Kaya ang yung load is uniformly distributed. And before kamo draw sa moment diagram, first i-locate ni mo ni point where she is zero. Ah, so pagkuhaan ni nga distance, just do a ratio and do portion. So 170 is 2x equal 70 is to 2 minus x. And naki x na 17 over 12. Okay, or you can also use my shortcut or Neri's technique joke. Just divide the shear, shear force, and the uniform load. So 170 over 120, you'll have 17 over 12. And then compute the area. Area one, two, three, four. Ano mo? Money ang mga areas na. One is triangle, two triangle, three rectangle, four triangle. And after this one, pwede na nyo mong i-draw ang moment diagram. Starting from A, moment is zero, kay fixed, a fixed hinge. And then sa E, gamit ang area, moment sa E is A, moment sa A plus area one. And nakai 120. And then moment sa B is equal to moment sa E plus area 2. This one, 100 na lang bilin. Okay, ang curvature da eh. Second degree sa downward. Nana sa relationship again. Na kumoni mo load, uniform distributed. Ang shear straight line. Ang moment is second degree. So let's continue. So C, uh, moment C is equal to moment C B plus area 3. You will have negative 240. So ang diagram sa moment, you basically just a relationship among load, shear, and moment. And then last, moment C D is moment C C plus area 4, 0. So since na close ang diagram, kasabot, Correct in my reactions and all the other values. So after this, we didn't come out derive the equations. Starting with segment EB, makita niyo sa shear diagram na straight line downward to the right. So kung magkuha ng equation na ni Pwede ka itong analytic geometry ng style using two points. Kaya naman tayo standard form sa line. Katong two point form. So pwede naman yung gamiton. Point one o point two. Pwede pa. Pero if you want to use calculator technique, Caltech for short, pwede na. Using Casio FX 570 ES Plus or 991 ES Plus. Add to ka sa mode 3 to. Mode 3, start na to. And then, mamili ka dito. 1, and so on. Na dito sa 2, money yung model. A plus BX, straight line. Isa. So, ang buha to na rin mo ani is to determine the values of A and B. And para makuha na nimo input ka 2 points. Um, ano sa, sa pag sulod ni mo ani, mode 3 to. Ang mga up here is XY, blanco na siya. Input na yun mo. Point 1, when x equals 0, y equals 170. When x equals 2, 
Y was negative 70. Mawin isa. Uh, after this, clear ang screen or press EC. Ayaw ko limot. Press EC. And then, pwede na ka makuha sa A o B. So, to determine the value of A, mawin yung buhaton. Press shift 1, 5, 1 equals ayan na. Bali shift is stat na niyo. Pag press mo shift, isulod ka sa stat na environment. And then, mamili ka dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Ang 5 dito, regression na siya. And then, pag magpares sa 5, na napag-aikuan dito. 1, 1, 2, and so on. Naasa 1 ang A. And then, equals. Tagaan din ka 170 na value. Uh, pwede na i-check ninyo sa inyong kalkyo. And then, press easy na sad. And then, pwede na pag B. Shift 1, 5, 2. Ang 2 is B na sa. Uh, negative 120 ang magawas. So after this, substitute na lang na yun yung madali. Y equals A plus B. Just change Y to V. Okay, ang atong diagram delay kay shear man eh. And you will have this. Uh, and para makuha niyo mga equation sa moment, you integrate V. Integrate the equation of shear. Money mo makuha. Kana. And then you solve for C. Kuha niyo mga value sa constant. Ang baha ito niyo, mag-substitute kag point sa moment diagram niyo between A and B. Take note, you have three points. One, two, and three. Mamili lang kanya. Pinaka sa yun is this one. At x equal to 0, moment equal 0. So, 0, 0, 0. C equal 0. Uh, therefore, ang moment sa AB is this. Uh, na alternate solution na ni, eh. instead na mag-integrate ka, gamit ka Caltech. Para bola man ni, eh. O Caltech yung gamitin. Ano mo ni siya? Mode 3, 3 ka. Sa 3, mo ni siya, ang mga physical Q is CX squared. Wala ni. A plus BX. Pero naan siya. Sa parabola man ni. Oh, naka, pa na lang sa underline. O saan ni? Oh, so, since you have 3 constants, E, B, and C, kinahanglan ka o 3 points. And okay lang, naman kay tulog ka points. Dari, 1, 2, 2 and 3. Gamito na ni mo. So, mo 3, 3. Mo ni mo gawas. X, Y. So, pala na yun ka. At x equal to 0. Y, 0. At x equal to this one. Kana yung Y. Um, fraction na form. Mo ni sa decimal form. Mo ni 120. Para wala round off ba? Kinaman ni sa nakaround off mo ni. Para wala error. And then, x equals to y equals 100. And then again, press EC. Pwede na ka makuha sa A o B o C. One is for A, 2 for B, 3 is for C. And you'll have these values. Substitute din mo dali. And then just change y to V. Mga na equation sa C. Ah, sorry. Moment. Change y to m. Same one na kaganina. 170x minus 60x. So, option mo, whether mo kalte ka or mag-integrate ka. So, we are finished with segment E, B, B, C na siya. For B, C, ang nasa shear diagram, horizontal, it means... Constant ang she horizontal line man. Oh. So, mona equation sa she negative 170. And then for moment, integrate again, V, and you will have this. And then to solve for C, substitute ka. Mamili kag point between B and C. Either this one, kining 100 or negative 240. Depende lang sa imo. 
So, kana ako nga gamit. Moment equals 100 when x equals 2. Na ako ay seeing at 440. And mo na akong equation there. Alternate solution na ni. Instead na mong integrate, kakal, take again. Kabalo man ka na ang diagram sa BC, straight line. Pwede ka itong mode 3, 2. You have two points and get the values of A and B. Parihor. Alternate na siya. And last, for segment CD, uh, ang siya diagram again, straight line, so mode 3, 2 na siya. Kini mo gamitan na points C of D. Mga niya? Ayaw yung kalimot anang easy ha? It might be na um, sa ibang value ay hatag. So, mo niya ang A, 720. Mo niya ang B, negative 120. And this is the equation for shear. And then for M, integrate. And na kay C, ang ita kag point, ang pinakadali is this. Moment is 0 when x equals 6. So, 0, 6, or 6. Nakay C na negative to 160. Hmm. So, money my final equation sign. Alternate method, ane, parabola, ane, mode 3, 3. Pero, since kung magamit ka ni, you need three points na duhara man ni, ang bahato ni mo ni, extend ni mo ni diagram ni mo, kani mo curve, extend ni mo to point B, kuwao ni mo moment sa B na yun, kapoy. No? So mas maayo pa, mag-integrate na lang ka. So, case to case na siya. Either mag-integrate ka o magamit ka o kaltik. Okay, so there are tama na. I hope na na may na learn ka mo. Thank you.